so I just got back from an absolutely amazing photography expedition in Nome, Alaska, and I brought along my new favorite camera bag. And I'm not joking, like, this thing is absolutely amazing. This is the PGY Tech One Pro Flex 50 liter. Now, this thing is massive. Why do I need 50 liters? Well, wait till you see how much camera gear I have built into this thing. Well, it's not built into it, but how much camera gear I have built. Why do I keep saying built? I don't know. How much camera gear I have inside this bag. It's going to be a pretty mind-boggling experience, I think, for you guys to see what you can get. And not only can you get it in the bag, but it fits in overhead storage in the airplane, even in smaller planes. So when I flew to Nome, it was like a 700... 737-700 and uh, so pretty tiny the overhead is really really compact up there but it does fit I do have to put the bag sideways but uh, no issues other than that and let's dive into the bag first thing I'm going to do is show you guys the sides I got two tripods on the sides this is one of the things I don't like about the bag I'll just get it right off the bat is I don't like these clips because you have to pull them and I'd rather just have a, a buckle yeah I think the buckles snap better I think it's just easier to use but you just got to loosen up and then you can pull the tab and then you're good to go so I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna like kind of reorganize the bag so I'm taking everything out but I'm basically showing you guys how I packed it the other tripod off same thing we'll just go ahead and loosen this up just a little bit it's really not that bad but I do prefer the buckle and we can let go take that out that's basically what I have on the outside you can see here, I keep a Garmin inReach on me. I just put it on one of the many attachment pieces you have here. And then up here, I have the Peak Design Capture Clip so I can hold the camera that I'm recording with, the R5 Mark II. I put that on my shoulder when I'm traveling, which makes it easier. And if I want to quickly record something out of the plane, I could do that. I just want to throw a disclaimer in. Um, PJY Tech did send me their own capture clip and they actually sent me this bag, no money included. Um, I volunteered to make the video. I reached out and asked them if I can get the bag early, or not early, but I asked them if I can get the bag, and they said, yeah. Um, the lady actually was like, oh, I follow your Instagram. If you guys want to follow my Instagram, it's Chris Luck Photo, just like my YouTube channel, and uh, you can see all my photography and some video work that I do. It was pretty cool that the lady actually knew who I was, and uh, they've been really great to work with. Um, so they did send it to me, but they didn't pay me to do anything. They're not going to see the video before I make it. Um, this is just my honest review on the bag. The reason I asked for this bag is because I have so much stuff in here. Right here on the back, it's got their ace frame. That's what they call this thing. It's basically like a hunting bag, how it's got the external frame, but it's a photography bag. And I'll show you how everything sets up on the inside. But it's really nice. It takes a ton of weight off my back. I had this at 47 pounds and I was able to walk around with ease throughout the airport while I had long layovers. And uh, it was just really nice. I could hike up smaller hills with it and not have any major issues. I'm not like super in shape or anything. So a 50 pound pack for me is, you know, a pretty good weight, you know, but super duper comfortable. It's got these really nice padded strips. And then this one padded strip here, or whatever you call these things, padded um, waist straps, I guess. I keep this small rig little utility tool here. Has everything you basically need for cameras, flathead screwdrivers, Phillips head screwdrivers, Allen keys, really, really nice. And I just leave that right here in this pouch. You can put, put a phone in there or something. On here, I usually keep my bear spray in here. Obviously I don't bring bear spray on the plane, but I put that in here so it's great for hiking and I have quick access to my bear spray. The side pouches here are pretty cool. If you go to this one, I got oops, I got a headlamp and I got a soft light and I got a flashlight. This is my night photography side. So I'm just gonna put that stuff back in there and we can go ahead and zip that up. Now they do offer like memory card slots and stuff. I don't really use them. I don't really feel that organized when it comes to my stuff. Um, it's a little too organized when I use that kind of stuff. Let's flip over to the other side. And same thing over here, except on this pouch, uh, in, in this little zipper here, I just have some of these uh, lens cloths. But you can see they have this battery slot. You can hold three, four batteries in here, and you can do this little flip tab thing where you can check mark 
whether the battery's dead or alive. I don't use this for batteries, I just keep my lens cloths in here. I like to put tripods on the side and I don't like to have too much bulk on the side pouches. Also, set it up so you have a quick release to some photography gear. I'm, I don't use this. I prefer, I prefer not to use this. I have a DJI Mavic 3 Pro in here, but I'm not really using that side pouch. I don't like it. Never really need it. And uh, that's just my personal preference. This is where the bag really comes in handy. It's 50 liters, but it's got this extra pouch up here. And basically what I keep in here, you can see how much it can expand. I'll show you what I have in here. It's pretty cool. Not many bags allow me to carry a rain cover for the bag. No, I'm kidding. That's not what I'm trying to show you. If we open this all the way up, I have my Bob 57 six inch custom FPV drone in here. So that's really, really nice and handy. Um, absolutely love it. You can put clothes in here. You can put other things like uh, more straps if you want to strap anything onto the external part of the bag if you want to go camping or anything. This bag is just like the ultimate Alaska photography bag. It holds so much inside and outside. So I'm just going to put this to the side because like I said I'm going to organize everything a little bit. I'm going on another trip to see my dad and I'm not going to need everything that I have in here. One thing I'm going to say, when you have this bag as packed as I do, laptop, camera gear, lenses, drones, um, the zipper does get a little bit tough to uh, zip up because it's just, I got too much stuff in here kind of. It's probably a little overkill and uh, that's, I'm going to take some stuff out. You can see I'm trying to take the zipper off, but I really do like this feature. They have these little tabs here, and basically it lets it prevents you from opening it. So let me just show you when I unzip this. I'm going to unzip it through the tabs. I got the bag unzipped, but I can't open it. So if you have an open bag, you can quickly just throw these clips over, and basically it locks it magnetically, so you can quickly move some stuff out of the way. Like So I do a lot of wildlife photography, and... Um, if there's a bear coming or something, I can quickly just move some stuff out of the way, let the bear go by us and whatnot. So that's one thing I've really enjoyed. Now, I'm going to try to lift this up and show you guys what I have in here. I'm hoping, actually, let's first take out this laptop here. So I got this laptop in this sleeve. Take that out. And now I'm just going to lift this up just a little bit. So you can kind of see what I got in here without hopefully everything falling out. Bunch of stuff. I'm going to take it out one by one and show you exactly how it is. But I mean, guys, camera body, camera bodies there, which goes on my Peak Design. So two camera bodies I can bring. Uh, 70 to 200, 100 to 500, 24 to 70, 20 millimeter f1.4, 50 millimeter f1.2. Uh, this is the... Uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3, Mavic 3 Pro. Uh, this camera body has a lens on it, 10 millimeter. Let me just take everything out so I can show you guys. And I, it's pretty cool when you look at it on the table. So this here is the Canon R5 with the 10 millimeter f 2.8. My new favorite lens. This is Lawa, and uh, super awesome Northern Lights shots. Got some great Northern Lights photos with that lens. Super duper stunning and really fun trip. This here is the um, Canon 7200. I just take the lens cover or the lens hood off and just put it around. It saves a little bit of space in the bag, which I try to make everything as compact as possible. Here is my 24 to 70. I was driving in this van with the um, camera bag open. Everything got super dusty, so. I gotta clean up all my lenses off and whatnot. Take that off. This is the 70 to 200, or 70 to 200, sorry, <laughs> the 20 millimeter f1.4. This is great for northern lights, astrophotography. I love it for live northern lights videos because it lets the most light in between all my lenses. Well, technically, this 50 millimeter 1.2 lets the most lights in, but. Um, it's a little too zoomed in for the northern lights. This is a great portrait lens. Um, I'm 
gonna try to dabble into some wildlife photography with the 50 millimeter f1.2 this year because I just don't use the lens enough. This lens I use every day. This is the Canon RF 100 to 500. Canon gets a rap for having such huge lenses, but I mean, this is a 100 to 500. This is a 7200. That is pretty pretty neat for having such big um, zoom ranges for having such little um, size. I mean, look at this, guys. 7200 and 100 to 500. That's tiny. That's that's neat. We'll take this out. We'll just take the let's, let's leave them there. And the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Obviously great for B-roll and some YouTube videos and clips. I use this a lot in YouTube videos. I think this is part of my binoculars. I just threw it in there. Okay, next up, DJI Mavic 3 Pro. Sometimes I wish I just had the Mini or the Air 3. This thing is just massive in the camera bag, but the image quality is absolutely insane. Got some really, really neat wildlife videos with this drone on that trip to Nome. Super duper awesome. Um, I have this uh, EF to RF adapter because I need that for, oops, for the Sigma 20 millimeter f1.2. It's a little too long when I put it on the lens. You can see how much height it adds to that. I hate the adapters. I'm trying to slowly phase all lenses that need an adapter out. Okay, next up, got some batteries here. Two extra Mavic 3 Pro batteries. I got some ND filters. This is the um, DJI Osmo Pocket 5 ND filters. These are the DJI Mavic 3 Pro ND filters. Super nice that DJI makes them in a really small compact case. In here I have two of these Anchor wireless chargers. I can just slap, I don't have my phone with me, but I could just slap these on my phone, start charging. I also charge my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 battery, or Pocket 3 um, Osmo Action 5 batteries with this. It only took like 45 minutes to fully charge two batteries, so that was pretty neat. Got a uh, camera neck strap here that I use for the 100 to 500. Makes life easy. We got another action cam. This is the Insta360 GO 3 with the hat clip, my favorite behind the scenes footage. I haven't used it in a while. I don't know why. I don't even know why I bring my bag, but it is really nice, but I should start using it again. This here is the Raven Eye. Now this is great for solo B-roll. I saw a YouTube video from this guy um, setting this up so you have like un a massive amount of range for solo B-roll seeing yourself in frames and whatnot it's really really neat it comes in handy they don't use it a lot but it definitely is pretty neat well, that's pretty neat all right now in here there is like some additional we can lift this up now there is some additional zippers here so let me show you what i got in here i have some dji wireless microphones have that in here. Put this to the side. I have my massive DJI smart controller. This thing is just, I mean, huge, right? Fits in there. That is pretty much everything that I have. I do bring like a smaller bag with me that has like the Osmo Action 5 if I need to quickly use it for something. Um, there's another zipper here. I just put um, Mavic 3 charger in there so tons of like extra zippers extra storage case one thing i love about this bag is it has awesome custom ability to not just use their large pouch this is their large pouch it comes out and if you needed to somehow go on a smaller plane where you couldn't bring your camera bag overhead you can take this out and basically bring all your important camera gear and lenses here, keep that on as your personal item. And then you can just check all the useless stuff in the camera bag and then go from there. There's more pouches down here. I mean, this is the selfie stick for the Osmo Action 5. In case I want to go vlog mode, which I really don't. I wish I did more on the scene stuff, 
but it is what it is. Um, what's nice is when you um, open up the pouch, it's not just hanging out. You don't have to tuck it under anything. You just open it up. You just open this here, and PJY Tech was smart enough to just be able to Velcro and just open it up and Velcro. And now you have that attached. You can still access your laptop and everything here. Zip that up. Not only do they have the large pouch, but they have small and medium pouches. So if you don't need a ton of camera stuff, you can get the small one, medium one like this, and then you'll have extra room for some clothes, or you can get the small one and have a ton of room for some extra stuff, whatever you need, whatever adventure you're going on, whatever suits you best. 50 liters is a lot for some people. I think most people would be happy with the 40, maybe the 35 or 25, I believe they have. They have two different kinds of bags. One Pro Flex has the custom storage where you can remove it. The One Pro Focus has this uh, like a traditional camera bag. Everything's built into the bag. No removable storage. So whatever works for you. I haven't tried that one. Both have this Ace frame, which is the whole reason I got this. So I can bring 50 pounds of gear and be comfortable with my recording. Oh, hey, I almost forgot that, uh, I totally forgot to show you this uh, extra zipper here at the back of the bag. And what I have in here, it opens all the way. It's really designed for gimbal mounts or gimbals. Um, I keep the PJY Tech card reader case in here. This thing is great, holds a bunch of memory cards, CF Express Type B cards, and it reads them as well. So super duper cool for that. Um, I have some batteries here. I got six extra... Uh, Canon R5 II batteries. Then I have uh, for the regular Canon R5 Peter uh, Lingren's uh, tri charger, and it holds three extra Canon R5 batteries. So has some really nice space for that kind of stuff up here. All right, so yeah, this is the PJY Tech One Pro Flex 50, and <laughs> it holds all of this camera gear, so I can get amazing footage like I got, like you've been seeing behind the scenes, like you've been seeing throughout the video with some B roll. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love everything about this bag. And um, there is a link in the description if you guys want to look at it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of remote Alaska, more wildlife, more northern lights stuff. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.